Good morning, good morning. Today's word, family, is about drawing near to God, drawing closer to God. Um, when we read his word and when we sit and we meditate on that word and when we pray and communicate with God, especially in the spirit, we're edifying ourselves, we're building ourselves up, we're speaking mysteries, and we may not necessarily understand our prayers, but the Holy Spirit understands and God understands because it's a language that he gave us to communicate with him with. So if you do not pray in the spirit, I would say go to your pastor and speak with them and have them pray for you. And you should be able to because God gave each and every one of us that ability that being said, if you don't continue to pray in understanding, continue to spend God, time with God, because the more time you spend with him, the more you grow like him. And it's just like an earthly thing, a natural thing. When you're around somebody for a long time, you start to pick up their mannerisms um, and y'all start to appear similar. Well, that's what we want when it comes to God. We want to appear like him. We are supposed to reflect his image. That being said, read, pray, meditate, so that the closer you get to him, the closer he'll get to you. And we know that scripture. And I also want to remind you of Daniel. When Daniel heard that the law was passed, that they weren't supposed to uh, worship anyone but the king, what did he do? He went home. He bowed down and he prayed as he had been doing. He did not stop doing what he was doing to become closer to God. He didn't pray in the spirit. He prayed in understanding and God was with him and God rebuked the devourer for his namesake. He kept him just like he'll keep you. So if you want your life to change, you want to start making changes for the better, then sit down and read your word. It'll stay with you. You can meditate on it day and night. You can think about the promises of God. And remember, every shall is loaded. It's a promise. And God keeps his word. It does not leave him to go unaccomplished. It leaves him and it does exactly what he wills it to do. And we have that same power. So start waking up in the morning. Start saying the things that you want to say. Start declaring what's going to happen in your day. You're a king and you're a priest. And you have the ability to declare. So start doing it. Use your words. Prayer is a tool. And we need to start using it as it was given to us. And not putting it aside or propping a door open with it. It's not what prayer is for. It is a powerful tool. So let's start putting that tool to good use. Have a wonderful day, family. I love you and God loves you more. Bye.